from Homemade Grow, and today I want to talk to you about how you can use a $5 temperature controller to monitor the temperature and control the fan in your space bucket. So why would you even want to do this? Um, depending on your environment where you're growing, your, your temperature in the room may go below what your plant needs. There's a particular range somewhere between 70 degrees and 80 degrees that you want your plant to grow during the daytime or at night. So if you have this temperature controller, you can control either one of your fans to shut off at a particular low temperature. And this may help increase your yield. There are, this is the temperature controller that you can get on Amazon and we'll have a link in the description. This is only $5 and it provides a lot for its, its price. Basically, it comes like this as a PCB board, and it comes with the acrylic case. So these are the pieces for the acrylic case, and we'll be talking about how to assemble that and how to use this temperature controller. It's cheap, it allows you to control a fan, and individually, you'll be able to see the temperature right here. The LCD screen. So this will be the bill of materials that you need. You need a screwdriver, wire cutter, a DC 12 volt DC female connector, some wire, and your fan. You should have this part already from your connection from your fan to the 12 volt power supply. And over here, we have the temperature controller. It comes with screws, spacers, nuts, acrylic pieces for the case, An actual temperature controller. This temperature controller has LCD, buttons to set the temperature controller, and a plug right here for the temperature sensor. These plugs are for power and for the fan. And here is the temperature sensor. Your temperature controller comes with these acrylic pieces, initially with a protective film. What you want to do is just Peel off that protective film and they should show these clear pieces. I've already done that. Now what you want to do is attach the temperature controller to the bottom piece of the acrylic case. Now take the bottom plate of the case. Take four screws and push them through the holes at the four corners of this piece. These screws will be used to lock in the temperature controller. Now at these spacers, these spacers will space the temperature controller from the case. And now we'll use the nuts to secure the screws. And now we want to assemble the sides of the case. You want to take the side pieces and stick them into the connecting holes. Here is the front faceplate. Make sure that you 
place it right on top of the relay so that it fits snugly right in. Next take your four screws and nuts and secure the front faceplate to the case. Stick the screws in first and once you're done with that turn it around and use the nuts to secure the screws. Get your wire and your wire cutter and strip the ends of the wire. This wire will be screwed into the female DC power jack. So the red goes into the positive terminal and the black goes into the negative terminal. You'll be screwing this into this female DC power plug. So now the wire is securely attached. This connector will be going into your 12 volt power supply. Here is the wiring diagram. We'll be wiring this up now. Next you want to connect the red and black wire from your fan into the temperature controller. From the right is the ground terminal, then the 12 volt positive terminal, K1, and then K0 as the farthest terminal to the left. Now let's start wiring this up. First get a 1 inch piece of red wire and twist it and connect it to the red wire coming out of the DC power plug. This wire will be used as a bridge from the 12 volt power supply to K1. Next, take a screwdriver and unscrew the second terminal from the right. You'll be placing this wire into that second terminal. Stick it in and screw back in the screw to tighten it. Now take the black wire from the fan and the black wire from the DC power plug. Strip the black wire on the fan
and then join these two wires and stick them into the ground terminal on the temperature controller. This ground terminal is the farthest terminal to the right. To do so, stick in the two wires and secure, securely tighten the screw. Now take the one inch of dangling red wire and stick the loose end into K1. This is the second terminal from the left. This connection will act as a 12 volt bridge. It will provide 12 volts of power to the fan. Now take the positive wire, the red wire, from the fan and stick that into K0, the farthest terminal to the left. Stick that in and screw it tight. Now that you're done wiring up your temperature controller, find a 12 volt power supply. Connect it to your temperature controller and test it out. Once your temperature controller is powered on, you may notice an LLL. If you notice that, that means your temperature sensor is not plugged in. Plug it in. Once you plug it in, you should see the temperature in Celsius, and the fan may turn on. There are three buttons with the temperature controller. The far one on the left is the set button. It will allow you to get into programming mode and to set a value. The two buttons are an up and down button. To get into programming mode, hold the set button for 3 seconds. The LCD screen should blink once you're in programming mode. Once in the programming mode, you can cycle through P0 to P6. We'll be talking about each of these settings. But first we'll talk about setting the activation temperature. Right now the temperature controller is reading 27.1 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature of my room. If you want to set the temperature at which the temperature controller activates the fan, hold the set button for 3 seconds. It will start to blink and you'll see the temperature at which the fan activates. It's set at 23 right now. I'm going to increase the activation temperature to above 27 degrees Celsius to show that the fan will stop and wait until it's 28 degrees Celsius before starting again. Change the temperature and let it blink. Let it blink for a few seconds and once it stops blinking, it will be set to that temperature. So the fan has stopped because the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. We've set the activation temperature to 27.6 degrees Celsius. The temperature must go above 27.6 degrees Celsius for the fan to start. We'll reset the fan activation temperature to 23 degrees Celsius. By doing so, we'll see that the fan will start because the activation temperature is lower than the actual temperature. P0 allows you to choose whether you want to use the temperature controller for cooling or heating. If you set it to C, it means cooling and H means heating. 
To set P0, hold the settings button until you get into the settings mode, then choose P0. From there, you can choose C for cooling or H for heating. C means the temperature at which the relay will start, H means the temperature at which the relay will stop. P1 is a setting that you can change to determine the amount of buffer before the relay starts on the temperature controller. So if it's set for 2 and you want the relay to activate at 30 degrees Celsius, that means once it activates at 30 degrees Celsius, it will need to drop to 28 degrees Celsius before activating again. To set P1, hold set for a few seconds, scroll to P1, and then change the value. By default, the value is 2. P2 allows you to set a maximum temperature. This will prevent someone from increasing the temperature on the temperature controller past this activation point. Now we'll go into the P2 setting and see what the default value is. The default value is 110 degrees Celsius. That means the activation temperature cannot be higher than this value. P3 allows you to set a limit on the lowest activation temperature. The default is negative 50 degrees Celsius. You won't need to change this. P4 allows you to add a correction for the temperature. If the temperature controller is differs from what the actual temperature is in the room, you can adjust P4 and it'll add that little correction. By default, P4 is zero, so there is no temperature correction. P5 allows you to set a time delay before when the temperature controller activates the fan. When it hits the activation point, it'll wait this amount of delay before activating the fan. If you set this value to 2, it'll wait 2 minutes before the fan activates. By default, it is 0. P6 allows you to enable a high temperature alarm on the temperature controller. When that temperature is reached, the relay will shut off and you'll see a blinking air screen on the LCD. By default, the setting is disabled. So here's the temperature controller installed on our space bucket. It's mounted to the side. It's taking in the temperature now. You can see the temperature, and it will control this fan right here. When it temperature goes to uh, lower to the point where we set it, it'll turn off the fan. So I hope you like this video of us uh, teaching you how to assemble this temperature controller with your fan and integrating into your space bucket setup. So please like this video or subscribe to us. We'll have more content like this in the future. And the last thing is we have links in the description on how to get this uh, temperature controller and other parts you may need to install it. See you next time.